What's going on everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video today. I'm taking a look at another beer from out of Michigan to share with you all. And this is from Odd Side Ales. It is their Rye Hipster Brunch Stout. So here on the label, you can see pretty much what is a piece of bacon taking a bath and a cup of coffee. And there's a reason for that with the label. So this one comes in 11% ABV. It is a rye stout brewed with maple syrup aged in rye whiskey barrels with coffee and bacon added. So that's why the bacon is in there with the coffee. 11% ABV, lots of good things I've heard about Odd Side Ale. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open and get into it. And then we'll talk about how this one actually tastes. So I've actually had this beer for a good amount of time and finally getting a chance to check it out and get the taste of it all. And I've had beers with bacon in the past before, but it's definitely been a while. So I'm kind of interested to see how this one actually turns out. And I'm gonna switch over to Cam so you guys can check out that bottle there in case you wanna see it again or in case anybody may have missed it as well. Nice aroma on the beer. You definitely get in that note of the rye whiskey coming out. You get some of that coffee in the background. Good amount of booziness in play. You kind of get the sense this one's gonna bring a little bit of that alcohol heat as well. But overall, nice smelling beer, taste-wise. Oh, before I do the taste, take a look there. Nice dark color, you got a tan head that came out to be just over a finger, maybe a finger and a quarter. So that's actually down to about a finger now. But it may leave some lace on the glass. We'll have to see. So a nice feel. Holding it in the mouth there. Very smooth. Lots of flavor. Nice feel of the coffee. Nice feel of the rye. Coats the mouth very nicely. Just kind of slides down the throat. You get the after effect of the flavor. Keeps it really nicely uh, swirling in the mouth, a good duration. I can feel it really settling nicely into the cheek area. Very, very smooth. You do get some of that alcohol there in the taste. You have a little bit of a caramelly type feel in the texture, but it's not as sweet as that. It's just kind of got that texture there. Definitely one you want to take your time with, but an easy one to kick back and relax and enjoy. But the thickness of it is a nice feel, not too thin, good body on it, kind of like that motor oil type thickness almost. Get a nice sweetness there from the malts. Great finish. Overall, this is a very pleasant beer, very nicely put together from Odd Side. Glad I picked it up. A little bit also, I would say, of that molasses type feel coming from like that maple uh, syrup part of it. You do get that maple in there. I could sip on this baby a good amount of times. I could probably do a couple of these at least. And uh, you have to watch ABV, like I said, 11%. So it would catch up to you. Um, but it's definitely one of your bigger beers and one to kick back and enjoy. I can have this one with a nice cigar as well and be quite, quite, quite content. That being said, a very nice beer from Onside Ales. If you've had this one, let me know what you thought of it by leaving me a comment. Definitely recommend checking it out. I'm gonna go ahead and check out myself. Thanks for you guys for uh, watching the video. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.